Trayvon Jamadar reporting to you live from Channel 19 News. Our first topic of the day will be the questions surrounding the warm weather. These past weeks, high of 70 degrees had people wondering whether we should wear short or long sleeves. Also, the warm winter may be bad for skiing resorts and jacket sales. Staying on topic, we take you live to our meteorologist, Sharir, who will tell us if the warm weather is going to continue or if the winter is just around the corner. Hey, for four day, for today's forecast, we will have a, a mild of gloomy day with gathering clouds. The chance for rain, the forecast, the temperature has dropped down to low 30s. And for the rest of the week, it will be around the same with the threatening clouds. Then we hope for sunshine occurring with at the end of the week. Sha, reporting live from CBS 19 News. Back to Kayvon. Thank you, Sharif, for that weather update. In other news, six terrorist suspects go on trial in a failed London transit bombing attack. Now we go with Eddie, Gavin, who is live in London. Uh, six London residents originally from East Africa have been convicted of trying to explode their homemade shrapnel bombs that were strapped to them in three crowded subways on July 21st, 2005. Although the detonators fired, none of the homemade explosives went off. The men tried saying the plan was a hoax that was designed to make a political point. The six terrorists are awaiting trial, which should put all of them away for life. All right, back to you, Kayvon, in the studio. Thank you, Ed, for that update in London. Now, we take you to our studio for sports, where Luca Vanico has the updates. This weekend, many people will be tuned in to the Saints and Bears game. Also playing this weekend, Patriots will go to battle against the Colts. In basketball news, the Knicks play the Wizards, and the Nets host the Wildcats. Make sure to tune in and watch the outcome. Now to hockey, the Rangers will play the Islanders in an aggressive tight matchup. Well, that's the sports, and we'll be tuned back after these messages. Have you ever been in an accident or a serious injury like this? Yo, you okay? Yo, you okay? What the hell, man? What the hell? Chill, Joe, I can't get that. Well, if anything ever happens like this to you, it's called Avalize and Lugo. We have everything under control. <laughs> now we're back. Channel 19 News. A reported gang violence occurred on the scene in Brooklyn, New York. We now take it to our reporter who is live from the street with a couple of witnesses who may know something about it. We are here live from Ash Terrace More than John right. Perez, who was a witness More than day. on the scene. John Perez, so what did you see? King I don't know, we're just standing here and I saw a bunch of people just start fighting Latin Kings and Crips. Oh my god, look, they're right there. More than right. Throw it up all day. Rock one star. Crack. Wow, it really seems like it got really wild out there. Well, another news. We're going to go to Luis Calvanico, who's interviewing one of the Bombers basketball players, who's going to share his experience about the year so far. I'm now here with one of the basketball players for Seoul. So how's your season going? Uh, well, we're not doing too good right now, but uh, we're just trying to hang in there, play our game, get a few wins. But the experience so far has been really good. Uh, what's your role on the team? Well, I don't really play that much. Well, not at all. Me and Johnny London. But I really, I'm really, i a really good observer from the bench. So I, I know a lot that is going on. Are you laughing at me, bro? I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Don't laugh at me. I'll play you right now. You think you could beat me? No, no, no. Let's go down the street right now. I'm going to play this, this fool. Pick up, man. Game up to three. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Pick up your hands. Great display of some basketball right there. <laughs> well, 
This is Channel 19 News, and it's Kayvon Jamidar signing off. Good night, everybody, and stay beautiful.